Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Albion playthrough as Draldrak of the Truthsayers, where, if you remember last time, we've finally beaten back, um, well, he's not quite gone, but a serious amount of effort has been going into dealing with Grimmy, who has been pushed back, and as I was discussing, guys, I am probably about to be a treacherous cur and go mind. for Yuan Bo. Am I... talk frankly. Away from war. You know, and go for you and Bo and try and rip him apart because he he has territory. He's on my island at the end of the day, guys. It's my island. It is the island of Albion and what no one else you? should be here. So, yeah. Battle we are... Oh, do I just go now? I mean... You there we go. Approach me. And a non-aggression. No, there we go. We'll do that. So I don't have to worry about them for the time being. They will inevitably break that, but that means I'm open to do this. A very treacherous act, guys. Good, they're not allied with anybody. You are not <clears throat> but it is treacherous. It is betrayal, but they are on my island. And as such, they needed dealing with guys. Purify and settle. Ooh, orchards! Oh, I hadn't even twigged that our uh, will start at level one. No, that is normal. Yep, there we go. Um, probably gonna leave these places for now. I may start chucking another basic army together, to be fair. Killer of men causes fear, that's not bad. These guys get chariots long run. Uh, buff up some oath slayers for him. Some oath slayers? Oath keepers? They destroyed the goddamn building, didn't they? <laughs> This is fairly throwaway, a fairly throwaway army, so... Agrees. A circle of... Tr okay, I'll, I'll get that. Circle of truth there, so there we go. Quiet, listen. I honestly don't care how you level up now. That'll do, and as I said, we are going to cut north straight into their northern territories. Uh, Yardong is instantly fleeing, but they are also fighting the um, the Dark Elves, the Druki. So, yeah, that gives us... So we'll go through Sherwood Forest. I'm not necessarily sure I'm going to keep hold of Sherwood Forest. I may just, just, just dump it, but... Basically, if I can get hold of here, get this whole region secured, and then potentially even this region and the bottom half of the island of Albion belong to us. And if I'm really lucky, they'll go to all of these guys. If Kyle gets to the position I can, I may get to the point where I'll push with him, but we'll see. My journey begins. Bring death! I mean, part of me is tempted to ignore here, but if I cut around this way, I will do your bidding. I'm gonna have to go through there anyway. He is building up. There's not much I can do about that. Chieftain of the tribe. That's fine. Everything is fine. The forest will fall. Uh, Sherwood, Sherwood Forest will fall. Any um, any hooded people there will be persuaded to join me. You know, they've been uh, robbing from the uh, rich uh, cafeans, right? To give to the poor Albion people, right? <laughs> please, please tell me somebody in the comments got that joke. I'd be really depressed if you didn't, because it wasn't exactly a complicated one. Ooh. Oh, that's worrying. I did not realize they had a big force as well as a little force. Uh, 
Everything is fine. You cannot banish Xian Yang from our hearts. Uh, public order, public order, public order. Uh, yeah, control. There we go. We're getting there. Ah, oh, I thought I might do that. So, yeah, they are sneaking around me. That's fine. They're taking damage. They're not even taking the settlement, which is foolish of them. Did they just destroy the settlement completely? We may end up with a herdstone there shortly, but that's fine. Because I can chase Yao Dong down and drive him into his settlement, and from there we can finish these guys off quite nicely. Oh, and even better, the Lizardy boys have uh, blocked off the connection to Hag Grief up there. And to be fair, I would accept them. The Lizards, I would accept holding the north of the island. Who calls? I'm going to go straight for him because I want him dealt with earlier. No delay. Northmen come. Despoil and ravage. The hound compels. No, I'm going to stay there for a moment. Oh, of course, there's another goddamn invasion coming. We're probably going to have to go down here. All the way. Enslave the southerners. These invasions are getting annoying. So we're going to keep building up Kyle to help defend against the invasion. Though we're fairly built up there, so I'm not overly worried, he says. Yeah, I think Grey Dog has got a fairly good defensive force, as it is, so. Yeah, he's been driven back into their capital. That's fine. Their best bet would have actually been to cut down into me to try and keep me distracted while they built up a secondary force to come and hit me, but. Oh, joy. Overrun the world. Leaving. Wag is not ideal. Um, getting that rogue army popping up there, but we'll see. Ah, you see, Dishi, they see they could have led me on a merry trace while they built up behind me, and then they could have potentially sliced into a lot of my territory and made a lot of money from battering my territory. But I am not going to play it, complain when the AI makes a mistake, guys, because I'd be stupid to complain about the AI making a mistake. Go north, don't mess with me. Oh, it's not even that bad. Norska. Orders. We will lay siege. No need to rush. See here doesn't have any of the buildings. Honestly, I, I'm not, I don't know if it's because it's not updated for the old world map, which could well be, so I may never be able to get it working fully, but it's fine. Ooh. Ew. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to fight that. Why fight when I don't have to? This is one of my things, guys. It's one of my mantras in the game at the moment. It's very much... If I don't have to fight a battle which isn't sure, don't fight it. If I can avoid fighting it, don't fight it. Fight the one... You know, sometimes you have to. Sometimes you can't avoid fighting it. But quite often, you can just back off. Sure. 
Tribal fury. You have my favor. All will have. There we go. And I do believe I don't have lightning strike. Damn it. There we go. That is lovely. That is a huge buff. So, the power of nature we are going forced. to disappear into ambush stance here. Moving. And see if we can tease them out. What was that one? That one gave us... Yes. Right, let's see if I can tease them out. That's hardly surprising. Oh, they've actually expanded a bit. So I may need to worry about Grimmy, actually. I may need to turn around and deal with a Grimgor. Probably got a few turns before I need to worry too much about that. Silence! I heard your orders on the wind. You slaughter the sheep. Sent by the Head back up there, because your entire job is being defensive. Let's start building up. The pillars of Ogagog again. We're going to sit here. Yes, good. You see that second army moved away. And that was the main aim of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to split them. Ah, uh, You know where I said I didn't need to fight that battle? I should have fought that battle. Yeah, you see Grimgor. But Grimgor's still not huge. Though he is warring. And that's the danger. Hmm. But this is good. That means I can take that territory long run quite easily. I could theoretically probably peace out with Grand Cafe for the time being, but... Dragons are not your playthings. Ambitious, but futile. Their life is mine. Should have gone for the Pyrrhic victory when I had the chance. I may have made a mistake. Oh, okay. Yeah, they can they can take that. That's a weird move by them. I mean, I guess it damages me, but not taking it. I mean, they could have cut right through it into my territory. Which would have been much more sensible for them. So I've got myself in another of these slightly stuck positions. I will do your bidding. Dominate. just yet, because I suspect Yao Dong may just take it. Okay, I mean, if we get a rebellion there, so be it. If the elves 
wood elves reappear, I'm actually happy to let them resettle there and give it back to them. Oh, Grimmy Butte! So Grimgore has decided he doesn't like them. That may work really well on my behalf, guys. I'm still going to need to deal with Grimgore, but... Yes. Just take our time and watch. Nope. Damn. It's not ideal, actually, but it's dealable with. It's dealable with. Thing is, there's a high chance Yuan Bo is gonna go go that way to deal with him when I can't when he can't see me. The brook so while he's getting very good at spotting me. It's not that I think Grimgore being there is terrifying, but it's completely that I think that Grimgore being there is terrifying. He could very easily break all the alliances and go for me. Yeah. No, this is good. Because Grim even if Grimgore wins, he will not be in a situation where I can't take him out. And he broke the agreements, so he wins. I jump on his head, and oh, he's actually got the there as the war target as well. So this is pretty much perfect, guys. I would actually say. So Grimmy goes in and hits them, and then I go in and hit Grim, and then I go in and hit Grimmy afterwards. And then I move up to, to Mork's Chosen, and then I slide back down to the other side of my empire. At full speed. At least that's the plan. And if I'm really lucky, both forces, even if Yuan Bo wins, he'll not be in a situation where he can stop me. The Warriors Warg. Just sitting there, chilling, also watching what's going on. Hmm. He's taking his time, isn't he? Oh, let's see, got another force there as well. How? How? I mean, they must be full of gobbers, right? Right? I kind of feel a bit bad just sitting here chilling. Oh, I didn't go back into ambush stance. It may actually change what Grimmy does, because he will take me into calculation. It's Grimmy, but prob so probably not, but still. Yes! So now, we hit them. I will lose Sherwald. I might not even use Sher lose Sherwald, because I can probably move Kyle there. Now, we hit them hard and fast. While Grimgore is weakened, we hit. We go for Mork's Chosen outside the settlement to start with, because if we can drive that off, that's even better. You one. Nope, we're just going straight in. No, it's time. I will take the Pyrrhic victory, guys. I am not fighting a battle with Grimgore in it. I'm sorry, but no. Grimgore is the cheatiest of cheat lords in existence. It's like...
chance they may not hold against all those regiments for now, but I'm hoping they uh, run into the Giant's Causeway so I can just slide up into there and then we'll come back down and rip the rest of their territory apart. Uh, these guys will probably set up in Giant's Causeway to keep an eye on the pointy ears who we may push up and deal with next. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy to have Crocky here because Crocky Especially in the north will provide a really good buffer against the forces of chaos. Oh, this is brutal, guys. And I'm, I'm still... I need to keep a very close eye on War. Swag. The power of nature is yours. Marauders all! Use the power of cheese! What Not really cheesing. Mouse? We're just double timing. So these guys will be tired. But, oh, maybe I should have... Uh, Bugger. I guess we're losing two units of druids, because I don't feel like waiting is a good idea. You are going to head straight down to here, where you will replenish. You're going to hold here to keep an eye on these guys. And we are going to head down to Newland, and then up to the Lost, to the lost Valley. Good. Considering our start, I, I still think this is a very hard campaign to start with. The units do perform a bit better than I expected, especially in battle. I think in auto-resolve you actually struggle a bit. Um, to be fair, I probably should have fought that last battle thinking about it, but... Sorry. Wild does seem to be leaving my territory slowly, so I'm kind of happy about that, but I still don't trust him. I'd say I've got a 50-50 chance of losing Bola Hat before we finish this campaign as well, but this short campaign against, yeah, by not, I don't mean the entire game, but, you know, campaign against Grimmy. Interesting. Jade Wizard. We may get to deal with them anyway, because they've gone to war. They've smelt weakness in Grimgore. And with that weakness, they are going for blood. And I may just slide in afterwards. Grimgore is in existence again. I don't think I will help you. Now the question is, can I take them out? On. Oh, I didn't even take the settlement. Of course they didn't. Magic is yours to come up. Yes. Oh, 
Get out of my territory, please, mate. We will see. I obviously need to p apply pressure directly to Grimgar. I'm probably going to get a couple of regiments of renown in just to buff up this force a bit. And then we'll hit Newland and then we'll uh, drive north to hit their last settlements and finish off the greenskin threat once and for all. Which will also include dealing with Hua. Their time draws near. All things must die. Oh, okay. Uh, probably because it's defense. Bury them. I mean, there's every chance War is going to walk up behind me. Really surprised they didn't take Black Bog. Yeah, Grimmy's going to happily sit there and be sieged, which is hardly surprising. Because I don't think he's powerful enough to push out. Just sit there and try and rebuild. Try and lick his wounds. Oof. Encountered the Blessed Dread. That's not good. Their time. I heard your orders on the Nice. Wind. Am I missing something, guys? I'm not seeing any waystones outside of this region. Be still. Half of me is tempted just a piece of him now. What would he pay me for peace? Oh, he wouldn't accept peace. Interesting. Foolish, but interesting. Gorschlik <clears throat> Darogi. In... Has uh, been rebuilt, so no Grimgor yet, but he will probably be there by the time I get there. As I said, I, I will generally order auto battles versus certain characters, and Grimgor is one because he is just pain. don't like them just hanging around there, I'm going to be honest, though they are taking attrition. Don't think they're powerful enough to take any of my settlements, but it's still quite a nasty force and would definitely put us at risk. But yeah, I'm probably going to let the Lizard Boys keep the north of the islands, because... Why not? I may try and do some territory swapping here for here. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to let them keep the north of the islands. Uh, I mean, I might try and take some territory off the Dark Elves, but it's not a huge plan. Battle wizard. It's only part of the plan. 
Because, yeah, if I could get all of Lakeland, that wouldn't be bad. There we go, professional warriors. Okay, and with that, guys, and it's just about to march on Grimmy's last place, that is where we will leave it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this playthrough. Um, other than that, as always, comments down below. Let me know what you think I should be doing different. And an extra special thank you to the channel members, my channel members and patrons. That's Monster Bound, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, Noobie One Kenobi, Good Sir Twisted, and Space Ace Four Seven Five. And thank you everyone for watching. Cheers all.